everyone. So I have been um, away for a bit. I haven't shot any videos or anything like that for a while, but I just want to do a quick video. Hopefully I can keep it quick about uh, a passage that keeps coming to my mind. So I'm just going to leave it here so I don't butcher it or anything, but it's basically read it here. It basically is talking about how Jesus says that we are supposed to remain in him. So this is something that I was talking to some friends with and I was saying basically how do you remain in him and so just in dwelling and reflecting the thing that I came up with is that it's sort of something that you know can be done through prayer it can be done through worship it can be done through reading the bible and so then it it, it all kind of started with me just confessing that I haven't been carving out time for God and it's just you know in your busy days a week can pass and it I reflect and I think, oh, have I even read the Bible or prayed today or this, not, not this week, but definitely, you know, that whole day I can go a day without even thinking about God, it seems like. So that whole remain in me thing really convicted me because I'm having a hard time with that. So I decided to try to experiment and try to, okay, so the first step would be basically for me to make time for God in my day. So I um, was trying to figure out what that would look like, and so I kind of did an experiment in my own life, my normal day-to-day uh, -day being a stay-at-home mom with three kids. How do I make that happen? And uh, so basically, I tried in the morning, and I am not a morning person, and so me setting my alarm, you know, 30 minutes, half an hour, or 30 minutes or an hour earlier didn't work for me. I just kept on hitting snooze, and then I tried once my son falls asleep for his nap and that's usually around, around one o'clock so I got all my books and everything like that and then I just ended up getting sleepy and falling asleep myself and so night times although I'm a night person is not a great time because I'm not able to concentrate and things like that and so I decided to try it as soon as my kids fall asleep so once they go to bed around 8 8 30 is when the oldest goes to sleep I um would have been trying in that so I've been doing that for, for about two or three days and that's been going pretty well so that's sort of the first part of me trying to remain in him I guess so I just want to encourage you uh, to yeah and just remain in him I guess and uh, if anyone has any suggestions or a better definition of what you think remain in him means please leave that below but uh, as far as the whole just trying to start the first step for me anyways is to start with some quality time and that's been going really well so I just want to encourage you to if you don't already have a time that you have with God uh, that you would make that time and uh, once again if you have any suggestions on what that what you think that means or if you have a time that has worked for you or some sort of a routine that you do with God, leave it below.